This year we had uh, 553 out of our 663 kids involved in, in service, um, involving uh, making things for NICU babies or um, safe babies, uh, or um, we also put on a Thanksgiving meal. We also do an Operation Michael, where a group of students, they uh, build their own little box homes, and it's right in the beginning of February, so it's very cold out and we uh, sleep in those for a night just to kind of get a feel of what it's like to be homeless. The amount of service that is really just a part of our culture here. It's part of who we are as a school, who we are as Catholic Memorial. I know when my oldest, when he graduated and went on to the university, he continued to do service and somebody said to him, you don't have to do that anymore, you aren't in high school. And he said, it's the right thing to do. That made a big impact on me. That's what it's all about. Someone saw my name, Dunlap. Oh, your son Sam was leading bingo at, at the retirement community that my mother goes to. And there were several other instances. So he, he was leaving school as a senior and doing things in the immediate community that people were appreciating. As we refined and defined our values, we found that so many things were already there whether it's a, the way the kids treat one another in study hall, in, here in the Academic Resource Center, how they lift each other up in cast and team and activity. Like one of my really good friends is really good at math and I am in the higher track of math but I struggle a little and so he helps me a lot because he knows that that's where he excels and he uses his gifts to help others. Through our student growth plan, we try to help them as they come in as freshmen to become more aware of who they are, what their skills are, what their talents are, what their interests are. And then throughout the four years, we guide them through self-reflection um, and an awareness, a wider awareness of the world around them, draw upon their strengths to go ahead and make this world a better place. We focus a lot on the education, but also discovering yourself try this team or you can try this um, activity to figure out what you want to be when you grow up to better the belief you have in yourself. It's not just a, a student doing a project that serves a community need. It's how the student interacts with the community. It's how the student interacts with the people they want to serve that is just as important as the project they develop. The, the values that we live by here aren't just about something that we teach the children, but it's something we hold ourselves to as well. So that we have mechanisms in place and evaluation system that's based on those values so that we can both self-assess and reflect on others in our community. There's a wonderful spirit of care here. Students, they want to make a difference, they want to be involved, and they, and they want to help others. I see it on a daily basis in my classroom uh, where students reach out to kids that they see as struggling in the classroom. Um, they reach out to kind of bring them up and along with everybody. For sophomore religion I took a morality class and as I was taking that I could tell that many of the things we're learning about um, that students are already doing. There's no like cliques or different types of groups. It's really nice because you'll see freshmen talking to seniors and it's just completely normal. There's a senior girl in our fencing team and I really can feel the leadership. She always encourages us to stand up and to keep practicing. Whether it's you know, the, the organizations like National Honor Society, um, Student Council, Campus Ministry Leadership Team, some of those kinds of things, or if it's just in, in taking initiative on their own. I saw a poster this morning of a, a project that's going on with Catholic Relief Services that you know, a student is kind of taking, taking initiative and just making something happen that needs to happen. They're challenging students in ways that I've never had in classes before. Uh, we encourage them to use cr critical thinking skills to um, encounter things that have never been thought of before. Um, and they just really are driven, I think, in all of their classes to succeed. Uh, and not just for the sake of the grade that they get, uh, but driven for the sake of learning and understanding. There's always someone there to help you, whether it's in a group or it's one-on-one. -on -one. So it's never overwhelming, but we definitely get challenged here at CMH. One of the things we focus on is believing in yourself and believing that everyone has a purpose. Me and two of my other friends started uh, our own nonprofit organization called Think Through Your Life to help the prevention of teen suicide. And so last September, we actually had our first benefit concert in Waukesha, and we raised a gross amount of about $38,000 and 
had national touring bands come in and speakers, and so that was really awesome. It's very common to see students correct one another and say, hey, you know, let's, let's use our time here wisely. Our suspension rates are almost non-existent. Um, we are averaging around 98% uh, attendance rates. We've had one uh, referral in all those five years. We graduate 99% of our students and 98% of them go on to, uh, on to secondary education. In terms of our ACT scores, we uh, rank at the top, if not the top, in our county and in, in the southeastern Wisconsin. The teachers here at Catholic Memorial are very encouraging. A lot of our faculty and staff are alumni. They went through high school here and they love the place so much that they come back. I have a connection with all my teachers. I could see myself coming back here my second year in college and talking to Mrs. Regan about this activity and this activity and how it's helped me in the future. I believe strongly that my school is the best. We are Catholic Memorial.